Hello and welcome to another episode of Tribunal of the Green, where we talk about all things Power Rangers, including the actors that play them. My name is Brandon. My name is Lena. Yeah, my name is Will. And today, I, well, let me not lie. Well, I, I was just about to lie to y'all, but then again, who knows? We might not, we might keep you long, and then again, we might not. Uh, <laughs> I mean, like, it's one of those situations where we could either talk your ears off, or fall asleep on each other, and then we just cut it short. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So that's why I'm just like, you know what? It could, it could go either way this episode because it, it feels kind of like we're in like this little limbo area where it's just like we really don't have much to talk about, but because of the small stuff that we do have to talk about, it could end up being a full length episode, or it just could be extremely short. So, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> you I know. Mean- Either way, sit back, grab a snack, grab a drink, and subscribe to our podcast on all platforms. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Like Lena said, we are on every platform. We are on, basically, you can find our links at linktr.ee for slash tribunal the grid. We are on all platforms, SoundCloud, YouTube, um, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, anywhere where you listen to podcasts, we are there. Okay. So this episode, we will be talking about some Hasbro PulseCon stuff that's coming up, um, some leaks that could be considered leaks, but aren't really leaks, but uh, <laughs> but still leaks, leaks the same. I, I, I don't know. Um, so we will be talking about that. And the leak we're talking about is the uh, Zord Ascension Project Astro Megaship. Um, and we're also going to be talking about some other things. So, like Lena said, sit back, relax, and, you know, grab a drink, and let's get this party started. So, right? Um, so, as I mentioned, the post-con is coming up. It will be on this upcoming Friday, September 30th, at 2 p- at 2.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that is your time. <laughs> you uh uh Lena and uh and Will, that's your time. For me, it will be eleven fifteen question mark. Um so yeah, um I will still be at work, but <laughs> <laughs> I will be at work and I will end up missing it, but I hope that everyone else enjoys it. Um and yeah, like so, it will be going down. Will you all be watching? Probably um, not. Uh, not not because I'm shading it. Just probably because I'm working. Probably, most likely, will be working. What day of the week is that again? Friday. Friday. Yeah, definitely um, working. I'll be working. Okay, so we all gonna miss it. All right. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we got to make those dollars, and you know, watching the Hasbro Con is not gonna give us those dollars unless y'all want to come through. I'm kidding, <laughs> but <laughs> kidding, not kidding. Um, <laughs> we, need money. we need to make those dollars. So okay, period. Hmm. But, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is in these streets. Um, But, yeah, so it will be happening this upcoming Friday. So if you want, go ahead, tap in, do all the things. Um, And, yeah, so the main panel, well, the uh, the main event will be Dino Fury. Dino Fury, the entire cast will be there. So Russell... Um, Russell, Hunter, Kai, uh, Tessa, Chance, and Jordan, they will all be there. They will be there ready to, you know, do, you know, talk, talk about Power Rangers, Dino Fury, and hopefully some Cosmic Fury news. And it will be headed by none other than the Black Nerd himself, Andre. So, if you want to go, if you want to check that out, definitely check that out. Also, I'm not sure if th- if they're going to be a part of it, but Ryan Parrott will also be there, and Melissa Flores will also be there. So, I'm pretty sure they're going to be talking about some comic news too, especially since 
the uh, final issue, Road to 100, will be coming out this Wednesday. So, well, yeah. well, by the time you hear this recording, <laughs> it will have been out. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, definitely go and pick it up. Road to 100, the final issue. From what I've heard, it is a tearjerker. So, you know, I've heard that from various people that that issue, it puts you in your feels. It, it definitely puts you in your feels. So I am excited to read it. I'm excited to hear about I'm I'm excited to check it out myself. I don't know about any of you all, but I'm excited. Um, is there anything that you all are excited about when it comes to uh, PulseCon in, in this, I guess, Concerning these things, is there anything you're excited about? Um, I'm ex. I'm assuming that um, it makes sense if Ryan Parrott is there. He's going to be talking about the hundredth uh, issue. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he's going to say about it. Um, I, I'm wondering if they'll be talking spoilers since it'll be two days since it's been released. Um, cause he, he already did get to say his goodbyes in the last one. Um, the, well, not, nah, I guess it was the fan first Friday or whatever of uh, a few months. Yes. Months ago or mm -hmm. last month. So he, he got to say first Friday and he also did it at the, um, at, um, uh, the, uh, oh my goodness. Why am I blanking on words at uh, Power Morphicon? Okay. Okay. So yeah, maybe um, this time, other than another goodbye, he'll talk about you know the actual issue. So that I'm looking forward to seeing that. I I always love um, you know the behind the scenes stuff on how everything's made. Um, other than that, um, the cast being there, I'm assuming they'll you know give us some <laughs> insight on season the rest of season two of uh dino fury um and well it had already been out oh. so they <laughs> yeah so <laughs> so by then like there's really they can give us everything at that point like they can tell us everything <laughs> well yeah uh oh wow yeah because that's the 30th and the it comes to netflix the day before right Yep, Besides the 29. of course, the leaks that are happening everywhere. I got spoiled on something. I wasn't even looking for it. I was scrolling through YouTube, and I just see one picture. It wasn't even a video. It was just a picture of a huge spoiler, and I'm pissed. But, um, yeah, maybe they'll just be talking about it. Lena, how about you? You got anything that you're excited about when it comes to PostCon? No, unfortunately. I guess I'm just like, I'm just ready for some news that's going to make me go, I don't know. Okay, that was really creepy. What I don't was know. that? What was <laughs> that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that did sound like terrifying. I don't know. Like a demon or something. I'm ready for some news that was... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with my throat, but yeah. I want to go make me go, wow. Let's try that again. Wow. There you go. There we go. Oh my God. That was really creepy. I was like, man, what the heck came out of my throat? <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. So. We'd rather something go down it not not coming out of it, wow. you know. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Amen. <laughs> right. yeah, no. I think as of late, as, as of late, there hasn't been a lot of things that um kind of you know give us the wow factor. I think we've been expecting a lot, and we unfortunately haven't really been receiving anything like exciting, like. And I, and I'm, what I mean by that too is like with even the whole Cosmic Fury thing, you know, we thought we were going to get a brand new cast. Not that there's anything wrong with the previous cast. There really isn't. Um, they, you know, they hyped it up. They may seem like 
there was great things happening. I think some people were like, I'm auditioning for it. I'm like, auditioning? Okay, you know. But now it makes you think like, what were you auditioning for? That there was nothing going on. Like if they weren't, you know, like hosting anybody. Um, not hosting, like um, hiring new actors for a new show. But yeah, I'm just waiting for that wow factor. I, I feel like this whole year hasn't really done much to make us go, holy moly. I'm excited for this, you know, kind of thing. So mm. yeah. that's real. Which we I probably mean, won't be getting. Yeah. I, listen, <laughs> I personally think that there is not uh there's not much that they're gonna be able to tell us, obviously. Um, I know that there has been a lot of commotion because you know, every time Power Rangers is trending, child, it's never for a good reason. Um <laughs> And child, like people are angry because of I'm pretty sure you're talking about the same spoiler that has been spoiler that's not a spoiler, but it's a spoiler that has been flying all over the internet. Um, pretty sure you're probably talking about the same one. But um people are not happy with uh with said outfit with this said spoiler because they think that that's what cosmic fury will be. And I just want to say, if you've been listening to this podcast, <laughs> I kind of already clued y'all in on exactly what's probably going to happen in Cosmic Fury. I've been saying it the entire time. If we go back, if we just go back to even, like you said, Lena, the audition. And, you know, people auditioning and things like that. And they had the whole sides and everything like that with, with the Asian girl and blah, 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 this, that, and the third, right? Let's factor all that stuff in. So if you look at it, if you look at the entire picture, the, the entire thing, right? You'll notice that on that, on the sides, it literally said, that you will be in New Zealand for around two months. Two months is not that long, obviously. So two months mean you're probably going to crank out at least maybe eight to 13 episodes at most, especially the way Power Rangers film. You're going to be cranking out at least, you know, a very small amount of episodes. No matter how many times y'all work a week, you're going to only crank out but so many episodes. So this, so already Dino Fury is probably going to be a very short, Dino Fury season three or a Cosmic Fury is probably going to be a short season, right? Okay. Then, not to mention, if you even, even if you take out the part with the, with the girl and, you know, all that stuff, you take all that stuff out, think about it. The logo itself, the Cosmic Fury logo itself has the dinosaur on it. I don't know why certain people know, I do know, but I'm going to keep saying what I'm saying. I don't know why people thought that they were going to get brand new outfits and clearly the logo has a huge dinosaur <laughs> attached to it. And my thing is, it's like, I understand everybody's excited. I understand that this was like everybody's big dream come true and they may end up getting a big fuck you from Hasbro. I get it. I get it. I get how some people will feel like, oh my God, this freaking sucks and I'm not going to get what I want. But this just goes back to what I've been saying the entire time. If you actually looked at what was in front of you, you would not be, this would not be a surprise to you. And I'm not saying that what the spoiler that we, that's, that's out, I'm not saying that's going to be Cosmic Fury. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is do not be surprised if we get the Dino Fury costumes for Cosmic Fury or, or, or another version of them. For Cosmic Fury. Do not be surprised. That's what I'm saying. Because the logo is still the same logo from Dino Fury. So it just, to me, logically, 
I'm thinking, obviously, if this, especially if this is a continuation from one season to another, they're obviously they're obviously probably going to use the same suits. That's just my line of thinking. It's just it it just makes the most sense. Plus, if it's going to be a short season, if they're not going to be there that long, it's obvious that it's probably going to be probably nine times out of ten they're going to keep the same suits, but. A lot of people were upset, um, and people are, you know, having a whole lot of, you know, a whole lot of opinions about it. But I just want to ask y'all real fast. For Cosmic Fury, would you be opposed to having brand new suits or keeping the same suits, or would you want them to go ahead and adapt another Sentai? Say, for example, Q Ranger or Cure Major. Like, would you want them to adapt another the Sentai, or just go ahead and pull a season three and just keep the same suits? Honestly, I would say pull. No, no. I think if they did something like, you know, Power Ranger Turbo and Power Ranger in Space, I'd be down with that, too. What do you mean? Like, you know how in Power, uh, Power Rangers Turbo, like, they went to space and they got a brand new suit? I know you're asking that question. I'm really restating that. That was silly of me. But I guess, like, I'm not sure I'm terms of adaption, but, like, but I think it'd be cool if they actually did come up with new suits, but make it an original. <sighs> So, like, if they um, started off a season with the with their original suits, the original ones, and yeah, and then they yeah. gain, yeah, I would, you know, very similar to like you know, Power Rangers Zero or like Turbo and in uh, space, you know, where they, so, lose. yeah, wait, what? So basically, what you, what you're going with the them going with. Like the sit following like brand new like the Sentai suits or are you talking about creating new suits altogether? Creating new suits altogether. Okay, so, but well, because the reason why I ask is because like specifically those specific um things that you're referring to, they're going from one Sentai to another. Oh, okay. Yeah, those weren't original suits. Those were those came from Sentai. Okay, well, it'd be cool if they did. Something similar to that, but original suits. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that would be cool. I wouldn't. I don't really care what, whether it's um, original suits or uh, Sentai suits adapted. I would just like it if they did something different and new. Um, and we didn't have the same suits again. Because I think... Uh, mm-hmm. uh, what the uh, heck? What is that? Car. That was a car. Oh. <laughs> that car needs to be fixed. <laughs> what is going on with all these sounds tonight? Everybody saw that they got ghosts in their house. What, Brandon? It is the month. No, it's not. But the month of haunting is coming. <laughs> The month of haunting is coming real soon. We're just getting prepared, you know? Like Oh, you just oh okay, got you. Yeah, you know, we're settling in. We're letting our, our listeners know that's gonna be a spooky season soon. Got you. <laughs> like, what is happening? <laughs> but um, yeah, I just you know, for so long we've had different um suits for new seasons, uh new seasons with new names in particular. Um, so I would love to have something new and it also go along with the 30th season. So I just want something else. <clears throat> so. I guess for me, I don't too much mind it. If they keep the, if they do like a, different version of the suits or even if they keep even if they do what they did in that in the spoiler i it wouldn't bother me to be truthfully honest it wouldn't bother me having new suits or having you know well having sent let me let me change this having sentai suits 
or bringing in the Sentai, bringing in a new Sentai in any way isn't for me going to make or break Cosmic Fury. For me, it's like, okay, is the story going to be good? And what are they going to do with the 30th? Because to be truthfully honest with you, it for me, it wouldn't make sense because thinking as a whole, thinking as a whole, all about the 30th anniversary, we started out with dinos, right? It wouldn't make sense to leave a dino season and go to something else. <laughs> and we just literally had a dinos. We just literally had a dino thing. So, you know, Power Rangers love dinos a lot. So it just kind of feels like, oh, they want they want to do something full circle or something like that. I could totally see that being their reasoning for keeping the keeping those suits. And that's why they still have the same logo, which is probably a hint to them probably keeping the same suits. Also, um <laughs> what I also think in general for me is if they do decide they want to go and switch up the suits and stuff like that or you know give them brand new suits um i don't think they'd even have the like i i am just i am honestly just under the under the idea under the impression that they are just literally going to be that th this season isn't going to be long like it feels like it's gonna be giving real alien rangers. Like I'm just <laughs> like it doesn't feel like it's going to be long at all. I feel like it's gonna be super short. Um, not well, not super short, but it's gonna be much shorter than an average season. Um, you know, I, I just don't see it being a a long lavish seat like a long season of like twenty to forty episodes. I, I just don't see it. I don't see it happening. Um, and you know, because they they also too they specifically said we are coming back for a season three, meaning it could be anything. It could be any amount of time. It could be one season. It could be just an extra season. It could be it could be anything at this point. And I think, well, at least I'd hope that they'd answer that question. At Hasbro PulseCon, at least, um, kind of give us the idea of like, okay, is this going to be a full season, or is this, you know, like, what's going to happen? You know, what, what, like, what's the tea? Like, what's going to happen with this? Um, because I, I don't know if they're going to answer these questions in Dino Fury, but you know, Lord Zed is still out there. Like he literally left mid season, <laughs> like you know, like he literally disappeared. Um, I'm pretty sure because we've seen the spoilers of him, you know, of him jumping around again. Like that's been a spoiler that's been popping up for a while now. Um, that he does come back. So you know, we don't know if the Dino Fury Rangers defeat him. We'll find out on the 29th. Um. You know, or you know, they don't defeat him, and he ends up running rampant, or he ends up being the the main bad guy at the end. We don't know, but what we do know is, at the end of the day, like whatever happens, I'm pretty sure this show ain't gonna be what we think it's gonna be, because I've seen so many comments about, oh, we're gonna have them for another you know, for another 40 episodes. And I'm just like, I don't believe that. I don't, especially if they're only going to be there for like two months or something like that. If, if they do, if they do follow that schedule with the, that the, um, that the side, that the audition sides had, if they're only going to be there for two months, there's no way that they're going to crank out 40 episodes. Hell, they ain't going to even crank out 20. They're, they're not even going to crank out 20 for that matter. So, I don't know. I, I just really think it's going to be something different, y'all. I really do. But keeping in the spirit of everything that is going on, <laughs> in terms of us not knowing what the hell is going on. <laughs> so, Zap, the Zorda's Engine Project, basically, here's the story. Here's the story. 
So this is what I heard word on the street. So basically, Hasbro sent uh sent out a press release for media outlets to talk about the Zord Ascension project, the new one, the Astro Megazord. Apparently, they sent it out, and I don't know if you know certain people got it and decided, you know what, we're gonna go ahead and release it early. I don't know. I don't I, like. I, I honestly don't know what happened with that. Um, but all I know is it ended up on the internet, and <laughs> and um, yeah, we have the Zord Ascension project now um, that has the Astro Megazord. How do you feel about it? And also, are you surprised that they skipped several seasons and went straight to space? <clears throat> Um, I, I want it. This is something that I actually think that I'll buy. Um, I love that they finally did something other than Mighty Morphin. <laughs> it's about time. Um, I have like such fond memories of the Astro Mega Ship. Um, it's one of my favorite like TV, um, spaceships i i just love it um i'm i love that the megazord itself is posable now and um yeah i'm just i'm i'm all for this i really want um i really want to actually purchase this i am actually very like i'm actually very impressed with it um it's it has that Zord Ascension flavor to it where it feel where it looks almost kind of like it looks almost like they did take some liberties, but it doesn't feel like they took too many liberties to where it doesn't feel like, oh, this wouldn't like this, this is out of place. Kind of like how I felt with the Dino Megazord. Because the Dino Megazord, to me, they added some things in there, like the little uh, honeycomb design and stuff. They, like, they just took a lot of liberties and added some things that I was really like, okay, why did y'all do that? Like, this doesn't need to be here. Um, but here with the Astro Megazord, I'm actually thoroughly impressed um it looks very it looks very chic it looks very sleek it looks amazing um the only thing that if i was to nitpick something because you know i got I, i'm real picky if i was to nitpick anything it would be the fact that they have the cockpit in the chest mm -hmm. clearly them holes was sitting right in, in the space shuttle right on the head so mm -hmm. the old mugs was sitting up there they wasn't sitting in nobody's chest child but you know, I could understand what they were trying to do. You know, because I'm pretty sure it would have been way too small. Like, it would have been way too complicated to fit. You know what I'm saying? Like, those tiny little figurines in that tiny little head. Like, that. that's just, it's impossible. Like, there's no way. Um. So, you know, I get them putting it in the chest. So, I'm not making a too big of a deal about it. But, you know, it's still cute. It's still giving. Um... Now, one of the things I will say, though, is this Megazord is not standing at the 11 inches that the other ones were. Oh, no. This one not is now standing inches? at 11 Jeez. inches, girl. The Dino Megazord Jeez. was standing at 11 inches. That's already, you already dealing with a, with a monster right there, child. 11 <laughs> inches? <laughs> child. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay. <laughs> Child, that's what I said too. Shit. Child, that's a lot. But girl, this one. Listen, this one is 14. No. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> no. I said, I, who fucking with that? <laughs> who <are you? laughs> Damn. You know, and wait a minute. That's I mean, a lot of inches, child. They're like, you're gonna take all of these inches. You're gonna take it real good. You're gonna take it real good. And and I will. 
I will because I will be getting the the, the Zap Astro Megazord. I'm, I'm with Will. I will be getting it. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna take all 14 of these inches because yes, God, honey, yes. <laughs> wow, that's actually that's impressive. But no, for real, for real, that's huge. Yeah, that's that's, that's very huge. impressively big. Like I'm actually kind of impressed now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I like. When I found out, a whole ship. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when I saw it, I was like, "Wait a minute!" Because I noticed it said the fourteen, like on the picture, and I was like, "Wait a minute! That's this thing is fourteen inches big! Like, wow, that is insane!" Because, like I said, the Dino Megazord was eleven, so like it's this one is fourteen. Like this one is huge. It's really big. So. I am thoroughly impressed with it. I am very, very, very impressed. Very impressed. Yeah. Man. So I, I want to say it's probably one of the biggest mini stores we've ever had. It's 14.5. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You got to add the extra 0.5. Wow. Absolutely. Every inch matters. Every inch does matter. <laughs> and you know it. Wow. <laughs> oh. Chile. Wait, Chile. wait a second, wait a second. If you look closely in the photo, I see little ranger figurines. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, they have the little figurines that's supposed to go into the um into the cockpit on the chest. That's supposed to be the head. I mean, you you're 14.5 and you got things going inside of you and coming out of you. Child, listen. Where, where do I sign up? <laughs> Wait! Oh, I'm very impressed. Girl, Shao. They they say they are trying to fill up, honey. They are trying to fill up wherever you place in it. So, like I said, I'm impressed. I am impressed. I am quite impressed with uh with this with this giant monster Astro Megazord that they got going on. I I really do hope they make some size jokes though at this uh Hasbro Pulse Con. They probably won't, but um yeah, it would be cute. It would be funny if they did. Uh but yeah. So that is a thing. That is a thing that ha- that is happening. Um and oh, by the way, update on the story. Um so apparently they took they deleted the um the shared the shared information from people's folders so i guess it was kind of like one of those like ha- those uh drive folders so they went ahead and deleted it out even though it's been in people's in like the um in the media outlets folders or whatever for all this time they went ahead and deleted it so that's interesting. It's like Hasbro, like the, the information is out. You might as well just let it stay, but whatever. Right. Um, <laughs> like, what was the point of deleting it? But that's neither here or there. <laughs> <laughs> like, the information is out. Like, <laughs> that was stupid, but whatever. Whatever. Mm. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, like I said, and more than likely Hasbro PostCon is probably going to feature a whole lot more uh, exclusives and, you know, a whole bunch more cool stuff. So definitely, like I said, if you want to see more, definitely check it all out. Like I said, it's going to be uh, September the 30th at 2.15 East Eastern Standard Time. Well, Eastern. Are we on Eastern Standard or are we? Whatever. Eastern. And... Uh, <laughs> So go ahead and, you know, dial your clocks to whatever time that that fits for you and tune in and see what other goodies they got going on. Now, also in the world of news. So like I said before, you know, people going to be talking. And I just want y'all to know that our girl, Strawberry, a.k.a. what's her name is? Uh, Megan. Kareen, Ker- Megan, yes. Yes. She has her little skin of the Hyperforce Pink Ranger popping up on Legacy Wars. It is now available. So 
the Hyperforce girls are here. Vesper and um, Vesper, Jack, and Chloe. So yellow, black, and pink. Those rangers are now available on um, on Legacy Wars. So if you want to play them, you can. But people got, got something to say. Like they're, they're, some people are not happy with mm-hmm. uh, with the pink Hyperforce Ranger. So Why? apparently, it's just a skin. It's not natural <laughs> character. Oh, so because it's a skin, the skin actually cu- is actually um, applied to Kimberly, the Pink Ranger. So in order to activate the Hyperforce one, you have to play as Kimberly. In order well, to that, get it. Okay, that's a fair complaint then. Yeah, so the people are not, some people are not happy about it. I, I for one was like, okay, so now we complete the Hyperforce team because also, you know, she has the little Green Ranger dagger for the, for the people in the back who, you know, actually, actually paid attention to Hyperforce. She stole it from Dr. O's house. So that's why she has the Green Ranger's Mm -hmm. dagger. So, you know, like Legacy Wars actually paid attention. Um, so she has the Green Ranger dagger. Um, so it's so it's given. I thought it was cute, but like I said, the people were not happy, child. What do y'all think about this? Like, do y'all think that you know she should have her own separate figure, or is the skin enough? <clears throat> I figure think, her own separate character. Yeah, I think um I think that everyone should have their own. Uh, my uh, character models. Um, it's cool that they thought enough to have her. Um, um, oh my goodness, be a skin for the the dragon shield, Kimberly, that has the dragon dagger because Mm -hmm. she stole the dragon. That that's actually pretty clever for you know a cost cutting measure i'm assuming <laughs> but and that, that's exactly what it what it is in my opinion that's exactly what it is at, at least thought was put into it but i feel like every team should have at least one um you know one character of their own i feel you i feel you like I don't know. Like, and, and yes, I do agree that, you know, everybody should have their own, like, playable character and not be a skin. Um, But they definitely did that for the Solar Rangers. You know, um, that that definitely happened. Let's just be, let's just be 100. Um, the Solar Rangers definitely, they definitely did it for, um, for, De- uh, not Death Ranger. Uh, he is definitely not not in not in the game, but um, they definitely did it for Heckle, his ranger. Um, they did it for um, I want to say they did it for Magna Defender too, and they also did it for Andros. So you know they be skinning it up, but of course they're also the same character, you yeah, know, too. Yeah. So it would make sense. So I get it. I could get the complaint. I get it. I get it. But yeah, people were not happy, child. I mean, do you, th- well, I guess my question is do you think that, um, I know we can't ask, I, I know we can't answer for, for her, but do you think that uh, Megan would care? <laughs> or if she'd be like, I'm just happy to be in this game, child. <laughs> Cause I, I mean, huh? I, I would feel, think the latter. I um, would feel like she would care. You would feel like she would. <laughs> yeah, I feel like she would. Cause I feel like she worked really hard to bring that character to life, <clears throat> and she worked really hard to sort of like, I don't know. She developed her. She did all the things, you know. And I feel like having her own character, it symbolizes that you know so why wouldn't you not have your own character it's like so freaking cool just not yeah. 
some I'm so used to um people usually not really um I guess caring that much about games like the the intricacies of them like just the fact that their character is being included is like really cool but like all the logistics of it I, I'm so used to people not really caring about that so I I could see her more so being like oh wow look um my character is in there but not so much caring about the skin part but who yeah. knows You say what? But who knows? I don't know her. She might be like really into um gaming, so she could think it's lame. <laughs> who knows? I mean, yeah, that's true too. <laughs> that's true too. But you know, I just find it very interesting that like people were just like so upset. Like people were mad, honey. I said, Oh, oh child. Listen, listen, honey. I'm over here like I don't play this game anyway. But for y'all, but Lord, I didn't know people were still playing it and were like that upset about it. I was actually kind of shocked. Um, but yeah, so the people are not happy. They are not happy. Speaking of surprised and shocked, so SPD is finally done <laughs> being put on YouTube. Are any of y'all gonna go ahead and watch it? Go ahead and come do y'all little SPD run. <laughs> at some point. <laughs> at some point. I'm um I'm really oh man, it's gonna be so interesting to watch that back with the new uh <laughs> feelings on the police that I have. <laughs> it's gonna be really interesting to watch that whole thing back. You know, it's funny that you say that because, like, I personally have just been, like, I watched a couple of the episodes, and I'm not going to hold you. Like, it was so cringy watching, like, the first, like, the first, the first episode, honestly, like, the very first one. It was so cringy because, like, there were, like, I can't even count on my hand how many times I wanted to punch this guy in the face. Like, it was just, oh, like, he was just, he's so gaslighty. Like, he literally was just, like, trying so hard to gaslight people. Like, he was coming after Sid for being a girl. Like, you know, he was treating the, um, he was treating Jack and Z. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they uh, literally, they were just like robbing folks. They were just playing Robin Hood. Like, and then they were just basically doing it to like give it away to homeless people, to, to the other people. You know what I'm saying? And he was treating them like they were like a part of the insurrection. Like, I mean, I'm just like, yo, like, Sky, you kind of wilding. And the way like he kept like making little aggressions towards Jack specifically like he rarely said anything to Z like it was very rare that he said anything to her but the things he kept saying to Jack and like the way he kept talking to Jack and making like you know little little things towards um towards him was just really like mm, 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 I don't like this <laughs> like I said like it just there were just many moments that I just found myself being like, ooh, SPD is not, like, ooh, ooh. Now that I'm watching it through, like, an adult lens and, like, it, we've, like you said, applying the mindset of where we are right now, especially with police, it's, you know, he, he gives, literally, like, he gives, like, the type of law enforcement, the type of police officers that you know would probably be doing some shady shit mm -hmm. and would probably be doing some gaslighting things just so that they could try to rough house somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what Sky gives. And I'm just mm -hmm. like, Ugh. like, it just is so cringy. It's so cringy. So I will say that in my 
first couple of episodes of watching SPD. Because I only watched like two episodes. Well, no, I watched three episodes. Three episodes of SPD so far. And I'm just like, I don't know if I can do it. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. But, child, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can go all the way through. <laughs> Cause it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. Ooh, child. Cause everybody is fine, but Scott. <laughs> so, child, I don't know. I, ooh, child, I don't know. Will y'all be watching? Will y'all be? You know, I know you said that you will, will, but um, but Lena, you gonna be watching? Ah, uh, most likely not. You don't want to see Sky be my be you know microaggressing out here in these streets. I no, and also because like I don't know, I just I'm not really I have to be like in a mood when I rewatch some of this stuff, if that makes any sense. Like I just can't mm-hmm. just be like always oh, honest, like, I'm gonna watch it, right? I don't know. I have to be in a certain mm-hmm. mindset. And I'm not really feeling like the SPD era right now. What era are you feeling in? Funny enough, you ask, I'm feeling like the Dawn Brothers era. Ooh. <laughs> I need to know. I need we need to watch next week's episode. I need to know <clears throat> if it's if Bridget and I'm pretty convinced that Bridget and Siobhan is the same person. Watch her become a Mia. Like she's like, I'm neither Siobhan or Bridget. I'm a Mia out here on the streets. Kind of Who's Mia? I don't know who he is. I was making that up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm about to say, because I don't know that reference. <laughs> I don't know who he is. That's not a reference. <laughs> I don't, I'm, just, I'm just like, I don't know. I'm like, because what her name was Miho, right? So I'm like, Mia, yeah, um, that's enough. Because yeah. Yeah. you know how when people change their name, when they try to fake their identity, they don't change their name that far off sometimes. It's like really close to their original name. But you know what? I don't know why people do that. That's so stupid right? to me. Like, right? if my name, if I, if my name is already Brandon, I'm not going to change it to to Brendan. Like, that's stupid. Like, right. I might as well just go ahead and change it to something else completely different, like mm-hmm. David or like Chad. No, not even, Chad. Even but you, you know something. Like you do not look like a David. But yeah, exactly. Something. Well, I mean, something, you know? right? I mean, yeah. yeah, David was a terrible choice. But no, like, <laughs> and, and no offense to anybody named David. But no. like I'm just like I'm just like that's that's lame. Like right. I wouldn't I wouldn't let myself Brendan. Right. You know, like why would exactly. I do that? Right. So the you know that he that's what I'm saying. Like, so here we are. We're waiting for the, the reveal. Actually, I'm more curious to see what the boys are gonna do. No, that's what I've always been like, you know, kind of side-eyeing is like, okay, so all this time you mean to tell me that nobody has picked up on this girl like you mean to tell me like you mean like nobody has figured this out yet like that's what's really kind of like head scratching right? for me and like I, no one has figured her out no one has figured out and what i'm curious about too is like for somebody who's oddly obsessed with this wife you know very little of her true I'm just saying, like, if I was obsessed with somebody, you best, you bet you were, I know your social, I know the last credit card check you've oh, done. Wow. Like, I'm, I'm, wow. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to sound dramatic. I don't actually know how to find those information. I'm just saying, I'm dramatic. I mean, listen, <laughs> whoever Lena is dating, I'm telling you right now, she gonna learn all your shit. So just go ahead and let it be known now. Like, she don't know everything. <laughs> I mean, hey, don't be surprised. Know, the more I know, the better. The better, you know. I'm just saying. I'm kidding. Um, but I'm just saying, like for for somebody who really obsesses his wife, I'm surprised that he knows very little of her. Yeah, very yeah, no, like he does know. He doesn't know that much about her at all. Um, and that's actually very interesting because I, I honestly. I'm actually very, 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 you know, um, interested in seeing what, like, what is the conversation going to be like when they actually do find out? Like, what is it going to be like? Are they actually going to, like, 
end up fighting each other like you know like what's going to happen because like I honestly do believe that like I think that Suhoshi the pink one I think he would lose his mind if he finds out that like his girl is the same his wife is the same as like the black the black ranger his you know Subasa his girl like if they're the same person like child well, I think that he is going gonna, to lose his mind well, like he's, he's going already to, lost he's already <laughs> lost his mind yeah but what I want to know is if it's the same person how did things end it with her and the black ranger because he seems to have no idea where she is no connection to her no no communication with her so I'm very curious as to how that ended or how that never ended or what happened, you know? And then the other thing is like, obviously we still don't know why he's on the run, how he got, how he got, you know, like mess, mixed up with the whole, he's actually the thief when he's not kind of deal. So there's that also, does it have to something to do with her? Like maybe she'd be out here be conning all these boys. I don't know. Child. I'm just saying she could end up on America's most wanted criminal next thing you know maybe not America maybe, maybe Japan is it Japan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, it's Japan <laughs> Japan's she'd be uh, Tokyo's most wanted exactly Tokyo's <laughs> most wanted like I wouldn't be surprised I mean she'd be swindling these boys like you know Tinder swindler she's gonna be that but without the Tinder part I don't know she'd be Tokyo's Twindler. I don't know. I don't even know. I thought it was a horrible title, but yeah. The Tokyo Swindler. <laughs> wow. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Oh it God. must happen. It must oh happen. You know, like, because remember, with the Black Ranger, he was like, I'll buy all this in 36 installment on this credit card. And she's like, You sure? He's like, For you, anything. And she's like, Okay. Child, she is out here. She is out here winning. Okay, she like, is out here winning. Girl, and then of course, home girl is out here winning. And then she meet like you know the Pink Ranger, and he's like, "I'll give you the world because you're so pretty." And she's like, <laughs> "Okay, sure." Now, you gonna give me the world? Okay. Now will that be with American Express or will that be with Visa, Mastercard? What, right? what is it gonna be? Right. Child. I mean, I feel, like, I feel like you probably asked for American Express because American Express means you got money. Because not not mm. not no average Joe is gonna get an American Express. You like you need to got mm-hmm. money. And depending on what color, it's the black car or is it the gold Ooh. car? You know, I'm just saying. Now, if it's the black you. card, I want, I'm marrying you. Right, exactly. Like we need to know your status, Mister American Express. Like it okay. can't be any color, okay? Just hello. <laughs> Have you seen Indeed. those metal ones they have now? Yeah, them things hard. And they're I heavy. Know. And they're heavy. Just like that 14 and a half inches. Heavy. <laughs> right? And apparently, like, they can cut. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> but nah, for real, for real, you can use that thing as like a shuriken or something. Because those yeah. things really are mm. heavy. Like, you can really do some damage yeah. if you throw it at somebody. But they're expensive too. They're like three, four hundred dollars. Yeah. Really? Yeah, just the car alone. I was like, Whoa. just the car alone. Those oh things are expensive. God. I didn't know they were that much, but I have heard they are they are expensive. Yeah. Damn. Like yeah, they're expensive. Because I remember one of my uh credit card comp- like my prepaid mastercard was like, Do you want like the real thing? And I was like, What do you mean? And they're like, Do you want it like like the real thing? I'm like, again, I don't know what you mean because I have the real car here. So what do you mean? Then I looked at it closely, and it was like the metal, and I was like, Oh, okay. Let's see how much it costs. I thought it was gonna be like twenty dollars. Like, why not? You know, it was three hundred bucks for a metal car. I'm like, um, it's okay. I'll use Apple Pay. It's cheaper and it's free. Okay. Apple Pay is be- is real, honey. Ciao. But listen. Yeah. I agree 100%. Like, I think old girl is out here winning. She's out here scamming. And she is just living her best life. And I'm here for it. I'm here for it, too. Like, girl, 
get your coin, you know? Get your however, coin. However, I wonder who's going to be the next victim. Ooh. Right? With all That's house like clues. Good. Yeah. Who is going to be the next victim? Child, listen. Somebody probably dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Or like, oh, I could see being Mama Mo- uh, Mama Taro. Mama, Mama Taro? Yeah, no, Mama Taro. he's too smart. No, he's too smart. No, he he's like, not. He could be like, wow, you're so beautiful. You're the first. No, no, you know what she could have done? You know what the plot just would have been? That's even crazier. I just thought of something. What if? What if? This is a very long, extended episode of like what what, was what's her name again you know those episodes where they keep giving like all these boys like love potions and stuff like that to make him fall in love to make them fall in love with her what if it's a situation like that where she's been the villain this whole time but she's been using um love potions but it's just been really extended and that was like the plot twist no one ever figured it out and that's how she gets through life because she's just be swindling everybody's money just out here uh, being contemptra from Time Force. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, that's what I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, first of all, back then, first, li- pause. Let's speaking of speaking of contemptra, I really feel like them capturing her and Jen beating her ass was unwarranted. Now, I know Jen beat her ass because she was messing with Wes. That's the only reason why Jen beat her ass the way she did. But let's be very clear. Contentra didn't do anything wrong. She really didn't. All she was out here trying to do was just be a city girl and get her bills paid. That's all she was trying to do. Homegirl wasn't doing nothing wrong. And you know what I'm saying? And she, yes, she did make the Rangers fight each other. You know what I'm saying? She did do that. But, I mean, they were just trying to profess their love for her. And she was just in there watching, like, okay, whoever going to win can buy me dinner. Something, I don't know. But, like, I still kind of feel like Jen didn't have to beat her ass the way she did, though. Like, she did not have to, she did not have to box her like that. So, I'm just saying, there are some times that I do believe that the villains don't actually like they get punished way way more severe than what they should have because and I feel like that's probably gonna be old girl that's probably gonna be Mio because like I said Mio just trying to be she out here probably trying to live her best life trying to be a little city girl trying to get her bills paid and I guarantee you something bad gonna happen now I can feel it I can feel it <laughs> and she's just out here trying to live her best life she's trying to go to Florida on somebody else's dime and watch they gonna end up doing something messed up to her. So I can feel it. I feel it in my spirit. I feel it. But um <laughs> I don't know where that was going, but um <laughs> we do actually want to talk about a little something. So Lena, you wanted to talk about a comment that George left on one yes. of our old videos. Yes. What's T? What's the comic? So last what what is it? Last what is week, it given? Let me see if I can pull the thread. But last week we talked about how does Netflix um change their viewing what is it called? Like their viewership, is it? Their viewership uh will affect us in terms of, you know, Power Rangers, right? Or like any other show. But obviously we are here on Power Rangers. Oh, you're talking about um binging. Binge watching. Binge watching, exactly. So we talked about that last week. And George, I didn't know who George was, but George Ranger on Twitter made a comment about it. He made a whole thread about it. And he was talking about how, like, part of the reason why he likes it is because it kind of creates a sense of a community. And when he talked about that, it kind of brought me back to, like, watching The Walking Dead when once a week an episode will come out and then the world will watch it together. Then after we're done watching it together, they have an after show where we talk more about The Walking Dead. And and then for a whole week long, we talk about that one episode of The Walking Dead. Like, I can't believe Glenn died. La 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 la. Like, or do you think he died? Because for the longest time, 
We don't know if Glenn was alive or not, okay? I'm just saying. But, True. you know, but when George brought that up, it really did trigger that memory. And I remember thinking, it really did create a sense of community in the sense that, like, we all knew what was going on. We all were on the same page. We're all watching it together, even though we weren't together. And then the fact that we had the after show to talk about the show, that was even more fun, too. So, with that being said, I do agree with what George said. And he brought that up. And I just wanted to, you know, to kind of, I guess, respond to it. Um, I do agree with that. I never thought of it like that. And now it kind of changed my perspective. I still prefer binge watching. But, however, like, it would be really cool if, if like, Cosmic Fury, for example, they did a weekly episode thing. And let's say, like, people like us can do, like, after the show kind of thing, you know, like where each episode we release, we're talking about that. Well, we already do that, but my point is yeah. like, <laughs> we already do that, but I guess like um, that would be kind of cool if we were to do something like that together collectively with the same timeline as the show, as it airs, not our timeline. Even though our timeline is great too, sometimes we're really late to the party. Yeah, but it's okay. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so yeah, so that was really cool because they brought up a good, a really good point, and and I think it's been a while since we felt that sense of community. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, with everything that's gone on in the world, like it's it's definitely felt a long time since we have that level of community. So yeah, so it really got me thinking. I'm like, you know what, George, that's a really good valid point. I can you know that. you know when you said about community and you know stuff like that that honestly just in general um it really does kind of sometimes sometimes um as in sometimes sometimes <laughs> Sometimes the community, the Power Rangers community can feel, um, can be cool. Um, Sometimes it can feel like we are together in a sense. But then there are also times where we just feel so separate. And we feel almost like at odds with each other and it and I, and, I, and I know that nine times out of ten more than likely for the most part we're on the same page but you know how like they always say you know the bad the, the bad apples always spoil the bunch mm-hmm. and you know unfortunately going back to the trending topic uh, about like how every time Power Rangers is trending, it's never for a good thing. It's unfortunate, but you know, those people who do talk a lot are the people who are nine times out of ten the bad apples. Mm-hmm. You know, let's just call it what it is. Um, you know, some of these people have huge platforms and when they say things, and I'm not saying that, you know, you have to love everything that Power Rangers does. Listen, that would be that would be stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's stupid mm-hmm. and unrealistic. Like no one is ever gonna love everything that that's that something does. Like that's just that's not how it works, right? For the life of me, my question will always be so why are you still entertaining it? If it makes you that sick to your stomach, you know, nothing about said thing makes you happy anymore. Why do you continue to support it? Why do you have a whole platform dedicated to it if you hate it that badly? Like it just, it, it, it never, it, it never makes sense to me. And I guess you can say, well, you know, you like, like the older stuff and you rather support the older stuff than the newer stuff. I can understand that argument, but it's like at the same time, the things that you're reporting on are the newer stuff, which means that you're still watching it. 
you're still giving it your time. You're still giving it, you know, your viewership. So if you hate it that badly, it's almost kind of like what go back going back to what we were saying a while ago. Um, you know, several episodes ago when we were talking about when Lena, you mentioned about hate watching. People will just sit here and watch something just to say how bad they hate it. Knowing that it's like, I don't like it, but I'm going to sit here and give my time to it because I want to tell everybody how much I hate it. That kind of my, <laughs> that kind of frame of thinking just feels very, it, it's weird to me. Um, mm-hmm. You know, like, I don't, I don't know why someone would do something like that. Um, you know, because I'm I'm under the frame of thought that if I don't like something, I'm not gonna watch it. Like, there's plenty of seasons. Like, w- literally, I've said this numerous times on the show. Wild Force. I started watching it. I watched maybe five episodes and I was done. Like, I really did not get through Wild Force until years later because I was like, I'm not watching that shit. It's fucking terrible. So I didn't watch it. Case in point, there's other Super Sentai seasons that I have not watched. I still have not finished Go Ranger. Still haven't finished it. Still haven't finished Ninja, which is the um, the Japanese version of Ninja Steel. Still haven't finished that. Actually, as a matter of fact, I haven't even started it. I watched, well, no, I'm lying. I did watch the first episode and was so turned off by it that I was like, <laughs> I'm not watching this shit. So, mm. like... <laughs> And I, and I swear, like, people are just like, oh, my God, Ninja is probably the best season of all, one of my favorite seasons. And I'm just like, this shit was trash. Like, the first episode was fucking terrible. So I'm just like, I can see how, like, I, I just don't understand how people could watch something or, or give their time to something just so that they could go back and, you know, just talk shit about it. Which also on their platforms, because they have such large pla- large platforms, now that puts that almost kind of makes it seem like the entire fandom feels that way. And they're speaking for the fandom when in actuality they're not speaking for us. They're speaking for them themselves and their small little group of people who agree with them. But they're not speaking for everybody. And I do feel like sometimes, especially the Saban era, I don't know if Hasbro is going to do this or not. But, and I hope that they don't. But the Saban era was real good for this, where they would literally sit here and listen to fans cry and whine and bitch, bitch gripe and moan and complain. They'll sit there and listen to it and then turn around. And that's how we ended up with eight years of trash from the Neo Saban era. Because they kept because they kept hearing, listening to the fans talk about we want the fun back in Power Rangers. It's too serious. Mainly talking Who about RPM. That? Oh, that was an argument. It was. It's too serious. I didn't know that. I, I remember oh, yeah. I definitely remember them talking about that in a press conference for or or maybe not conference, but like a press release for Samurai before it came out. They talked about previous seasons being too serious but i didn't know that that was a complaint by fans i, I always heard good good things yeah, about because, it that's interesting mm-mm. there there's a there's a whole bunch of fans who just were not seeing it for rpm saying that oh it's too serious <sighs> it's it's terminator ish it's copying mm. terminator it's too serious this isn't fun blah 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 blah. they took that and ran with it and, and part of the, and that was part of their reasoning for it was it was giving, oh, well, it's too serious. So we're gonna take it, we're gonna take it back and we're gonna make it quote unquote fun again. So let's start throwing pie in people's faces. You know what I'm saying? And they totally regressed the entire show. So that's my point. It's like sometimes the fan, sometimes listening to fandoms, sometimes it's it's not always the best thing. You know, especially when you have these small groups of people who are never happy with something, they're not going to be happy unless it gives exactly what they grew up with. And then when they try to do the exact same thing that they grew up with, you end up falling flat on your face. Because let's just face it, Mighty Morphin will always be a moment in time. You can't can't recreate that. 
I don't care how many times you try to give us unmore fights, <laughs> being shady. I don't care how many times you give us, you know, all these things. It's not going to recreate the magic of Mighty Morphin. It's just, it's, it's not going to. I don't care what you do. It's just not going to happen because that is an edge. That is an edge of history that cannot be duplicated. It just can't. So you have to just do some, you have to do whatever fits in the mode of storytelling of today, make it fit, do all the things and tell a damn good story. Give us good, give us good shit to watch. And that's, and that's the best you can do. But a lot of the complaints that I hear a lot of time, I'm just like, this what you're what you're pining for what you're what you're complaining about doesn't really make too much sense it just sounds like just basic complaining and i just want i guess this is a roundabout way of basically asking the question what do you think it would take for us as a fandom to just really just be able to come together and just like basically heal because <laughs> you know it's a lot of just like <laughs> wow. it's a lot going on where people just kind of feel like there's there's a lot of positions in the fandom right now where it some people feel like they're not being heard some people feel like you know they're not that that is, the, the the brand is is failing the brand is falling you know some people feel like the brand is great you know, and some people just don't give a shit. Like, you know, like what, what, what would it take to get everybody on board or at least, you know, have some sort of good feeling toward it? Well, obviously we need a spell of some sort. Like, <laughs> you in that spell. <laughs> Spooky you just want to put everybody under a spell, don't you? I mean, girl, you know, that's the easiest answer. But everyone else, <laughs> everyone will get along. You know, we don't have to fight. You know, we don't have to compete. It's just while well, just loving and vibing and chilling. Like I, I put I, a spell on you, right? Exactly. Like or like that. Uh, little pink mix. What's it called? Little mix. Um, black frick. I can't remember the song, but I'm sure Violet Ranger will be like, "This is people. the song you're gonna you talk." Put all these groups together. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea who any of these people are. I might go. There's li uh, little mix in black pink. Uh, oh yeah, little mix has a song called uh, I think uh, Black Magic or something like that. I can't remember what the actual song is right now. But point of the matter is, what I'm trying to get is that's what will bring the fandom together. We need to put a spell on everybody. There you go. <laughs> <I'm a spell. laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> and guess what because we are the tribunal of magic aka tribunal of the grid we can watch it all happen and we can decide whether or not that was a great idea listen I personally uh, kind of feel like uh, putting a spell on people will probably backfire and then now all of a sudden now we looking crazy I mean, <laughs> hey, we can put that spell to make sure we don't look that crazy. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I'm here. I'm with it. <laughs> well, well, I'm up. I don't. Yeah, I, I think that, that that's literally probably the only way that everybody's going to get um, on the same page because it, it doesn't matter if it's something really good and intriguing or not. You know, that doesn't mean that everybody is going to enjoy it or like it there's always somebody that either legitimately what just you know and they have the right to not like something you know it could be like a legit legitimate thing there's people that want to um just be difficult <laughs> to be difficult to be different and then you have people that just you know are haters so like it, it and honestly can go any way 
And I don't think that there will ever be a time where everyone is on the same page. Um, <clears throat> hopefully, whatever they do give us is something enjoyable and, and we have, you know, positive discourse, maybe, maybe even more positive than not. But there's definitely going to still be people complaining about stuff, even when it's good. So... No, and you know what what you say makes a lot of sense. Um, I guess for me, like it's not even like it's not even that I want everybody just to get together, you know, because like we've seen that moment of togetherness. Well, I do want everybody to get together. But like we've seen that moment of you know solidarity. When, you know, uh, old buddy, that, that guy uh, posted that thing of like, um, I love Power Rangers, that hashtag. And we saw how everybody came together on that. And, you know, it just, it's almost kind of like, okay, we can all agree we love Power Rangers, right? But it's like, damn, how we go from I love Power Rangers to now complaining almost every week. Like, it just, like, we've trended almost every weekend for, like, the past, like, almost almost all of September. Like, we've trended almost every weekend. And every single time, like, it's for something bad. Like, I just don't understand. Like, I mean, the show can't be... It, it just, the franchise, the show, it just can't be getting on y'all nerves that badly. Like, it, <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, it just, it just really boggles my mind how just people are just like, they're hating it that badly. And like, some of the things I've seen, some of the, you know, the conversations I've seen about how, you know, now, People, well, not now, but because people never understood the difference between, you know, the un, the definition of what an adaptation is. People still don't understand that conversation, but that we're not even gonna get to that. Maybe next week, but you know, from people still not understanding what an adaptation is to you know now people are just like, you know, just making up all types of just weird things to say they hate, they hate Dino Fury, except for saying, I hate Dino Fury. Like, it's just, yeah, it's that a was lot. Interesting. It's a lot. And I'm just like, I can see how some people have, because I've also seen people, you know, basically say, like, I feel like I need to step away because it, it's a lot. Like, and I can, and I agree, it really is a lot. And I've even contemplated on like stepping away from Power Rangers social media for a bit, B especially on Twitter. Like, I even thought about it because it's just like, damn, like, y'all can't hate this shit that much. Like, I mean, damn, like, it's a lot. Yeah, I, that's why I actually. I can't even say that's why, but like I don't really engage that much on that side of Twitter. Like every now and again, when I um, <clears throat> look at our tribunal uh, timeline, it's so interesting and different than my regular one. And I, I just some of the negativity that I see is just like, wow, like it's not, it's not that deep. I like it's I wonder really like not. it's. Like, people really be into this show, like, you know, like, um, or this whole franchise, um, like, like Marvel and DC and sports and stuff. And it's like, damn, like, there's other stuff to, to be into. <laughs> there's other stuff to be, it, it, this, that, but also, too, just for, the, just for the people, like, and I'm not saying that you can't like it, right? I can't, I'm not saying that you can't love it. You can't love it the way you would love a Marvel. DC or or sports or anything like that because yes like for some people this is this is their Marvel this is their DC this is their sports so you know what I'm not going you know I'm not going to slight y'all but on the same token it's also like 
you know, you have to remember what you're watching. You know, like it, it's and and not not, not I'm not, I'm not going to bring up that argument of it's a kids show. I'm not even going to say that. But my thing is, you have to always keep in mind of what you're watching. That that's just in general. You know, yes, there's been plenty of times Power Rangers felt mature. There's been plenty of times Power Rangers felt felt a lot more serious. There's been plenty of times that Power Rangers felt goofy. There's been plenty of times that Power Rangers felt extremely childish. There's been plenty, plenty of times that Power Rangers talked at you and made you feel like you were, you're, you're a fucking idiot. But <laughs> like at the end of the day, you have to just take what it is and just always realize that you're not going to like every single thing that comes your way. It, does that mean it's bad? No, it doesn't mean it's bad. But for the people who constantly are always trying to be like, well, this era is so much better and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, I'm sorry, but even your faves had issues. Let's just keep it a buck. You know what I'm saying? Like, your faves had major issues that because I could easily run down the list of all 29 seasons and tell you exactly what the issues were easily. And nine times out of 10, you're not going to see, you're not going to have a problem with it because it was a part of your phase, but a newer season did the exact same thing and you got a hundred things to say about it. And I'm just going to leave it at this. The fandom just really needs to just reevaluate why they love Power Rangers so much. Because the basis of the show itself really is five to six people, or hell, maybe even 11 or 12 people working together to save the world against rubber monsters while fighting in color coded spandex suits. That's about as basic as you're going to get. All right. Well, in that case, my name is Brandon. <laughs> my name is Lena. Yeah, my name is Will. And we will see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.